Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, welcome back to the Arcane Tower and welcome back to everyone glowing because I think we have a flower in our pants and that is something that we need to deal with. However, last time we came here and, and we managed to power up the Arcane Elevator with one of those flowers, which is great. And we managed to find some recipes, some ingredients that we needed for, uh, for one of the quests and then I immediately went H and then extract all ingredients and completely annihilated all of the quest items because the game allows you to do that and I was like oh I'm sad so I had to reload a save which is fine over to our right there is a little chest a gilded chest and I think in there we found ourselves um, uncovered mysteries detect thought level 2 divination spells so if we want to we can give somebody a necklace. I think everyone has necklaces. Uh, Lazelle has the spectator eyes. Ray of fear and wounding rage. She has now the ability to become a cannon as well as just chop people up like a blender. Will it blend, Lazelle? Probably. Uh, we have Am Amulet of Saluni's Chosen. Saluni's Dream of a Cushion Cantrip. That, I think, heals. And we have Amulet Restoration, which gives Shadowheart more ability to heal. More healing ability, but at the moment we can't do much. I just realized we've. Uh, un that's underpants. Except for Lazelle, who is wearing some sort of horse's bridle. Interesting. Yeah, we need to get rid of that flower. So I'm going to right click on that and send a camp. Boop. Which should mean that we can now cast all our spells including find familiar scratch okay Spine let's my step. hoof off into the elevator there are buttons there are buttons ascend and i think descend doesn't exist so let's go up Ooh, where are we now we are one floor up i think we've already explored all of this i can just hit out Yes, so I think we've explored all of this. Ascend? I believe we will. Uh, there's this. Sussa Bloom. Oh yeah, we can pick those up now. Because the cannons are all turned off. Why would we not? Sussa Bloom. Yeah, see our arcane cannons switched off when we powered everything up. Or at least I think that's what happened. Need more pockets. Why is that one on? Oh no, it's on! I thought they all switched off. Oh, okay, right. So, hey, I thought these guys were turned off. Hmm, I'm gonna throw. Uh, probably right at the end. I'm gonna throw my boots at it. No, I wanna throw flour at path is interrupted. Wait, why is the path interrupted? Come here. Uh-huh. Is that going to attack us? It's not attacking. Oh. Okay. Oh, also, there's a lever there. We can open the door. Let's do that. Chonk. So we don't have to pick the lock or anything. So these things are on. I wonder if that's a visual bug. I wonder if that's a visual bug. I don't know. Oh, we couldn't find anything up here. Let's see. No, there's nothing here. I don't know why these gems are glowing. All right, it's back in the elevator back in the elevator. Let's go up again. One more. Oh. No, I thought because we were in the elevator, um, because it, it looks like we've lost the ability. No, it doesn't matter. It looked like the flowers effect was not working in the elevator. I'm going to send that to camp. There we go. And then not that button. Let's go up again. Boom. We have now a... Oh! Flora's actually... Sorry, what? What is going on outside? I have no idea. So we powered this place up. 
Uh, we should read the books in here, apparently. Wooden chest. I believe I will. 35 gold and a potion of healing. I will always take it. What else have we got? Cupboard. With uh, the realm according to Bumpo. What? Uh, can we just read it? The book naturally falls to a dog-eared page in which Bumpo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travels. But they weren't half so strange as the bird folk. First, Arakora. I met had the head of a parrot, the body of a human and the wings of also a parrot. I tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was one of the motley party. Uh, cause around her table were a tabaxi, cat folk, a gensi, element folk, and a toidle, turtle folk. Trying to act casual, I asked what the hell they all were. They ignored me, but I can't blame them. To them, I must have looked awfully dull and average. But they were the first of their kind that I'd seen. But I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. I... Okay, cool. Alright, what's in the vase? Nothing. Oh, we can sort by type. So there has been an update. I think we're on, like, uh... Engraved Githyanki disc. Such a strange disc. Are these Githyanki markings? Lazel might know. Lazel might know. Uh, don't, I want to read it. Okay, uh, from Baraka we made our stand. Meant to rule but led astray by wicked tentacle and wicked hand. This world belongs to the grey. Hmm. Okay, it's a poem. A poem? Road to the Darkness. Do we have any candles? Oop. Road to the Darkness. The Roads to Darkness. An epic tragedy about power, corruption and loneliness. Prologue. A Lonely Road. Thunder and lightning, enter Soros. Soros. New sound through damp and dark oppression break. Is it the foe, the foul contemptuous heel? Or art thou friend? A rescue from my lonely wake. Come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. Enter Risa. 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 Somebody get Captain Picard on the line. Uh, how would I know? How would I know, Sarath? It's been so long. What do I know of you? And you of me? Sarath. Oh, it's a play. Wait, do you hear that sound? Amphirus. What's this? Those figures, so familiar both. But still you seem so strange. Sarath. It's Ampius. Risa, dear Ampius, what happened to your face? It's pale as death. Soros, your eyes are black as Shah. Ampius, and you? I saw your teeth, they're sharp as blades. And what is with this road? So slick with blood. What happened here? What happened to us all? Exunt. End prologue, act one, ten years prior. The rest of the play tells the tale of three elven friends, their path to power, and how corrupted, mad, and lonely they killed each other. Alright, alright. Handwritten letter? letter? Uh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna read it. No, I wanna read it! I don't wanna pick it up! I don't, I don't need it to uh, read it. Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bullet? Just because you found it near, uh... Minerus? Grave doesn't mean that's not a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bullet is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs. Amareth. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the flowers 
on Minra's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Oh, 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 oh. Robux. Oh, scroll of grease. So we got a bunch of oh, fringe philosophy. A globe. Can we spin it? Where to next? Oh no, we can't. Uh, rickety chair. Stuffed hook horror head. All right. Oh, that thing's giant. Okay. One gold. A buton. Strange place for a button. Especially one that doesn't work. Hmm. hmm. Shut a heart. Uh, did you have... Doo -doo -doo. No, you did not. Commas lock it. There we go. 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 It's a little bit easier to see what's going on. Uh, in which case, Shadowheart can just rob some stuff as well. Ah, Mage's Friend. Plus one Arcana, plus one Religion. Ooh. Gold and some wine. Let's try this way. Interesting. Shabby wardrobe, copper ring. Nothing in here. Ah, nope. We can sort by type, that's interesting. Kendall's. Portrait of Marcus Miles. Hmm. Okay. Uh so many worlds out there. You'd need a thousand lifetimes to see them all. More. A telescope. Useful for spying threats from afar, I suppose. Spying threats from afar. Okay. Uh, is there anything else here? I don't think so. Then we can just head back up. I'll give it a try. Oh, ascend. You sound so damp and like a pressure break. Is it the foul? The foul contemptuous heel? You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Uh. Oh, it literally tells us because we read the play attack it while it waits for an answer I'm not foul or contemptuous but I am a foe I am friend I come in peace out of my way I'm not interested in riddles or or art thou friend a rescue from my lonely wake uh, this is Bernard. Wait, did Bernard just become robot? Uh, how can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself? My darkest me. Uh, there is light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. What is this place? Who are you? And leave. I think these three options will probably get us killed. I don't think this one's right. This one seems the most emo. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? If you do not believe the secret show, reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. Reward. An automaton named Bernard rewarded us with a precious ring. You receive... Guiding Light. Uh, okay. Used by the previous owner to access both the Underdark's darkest corners and her own basement. The rings seem to reflect light where, where there should be none. Alright. Shut her heart. You got a, you got a space for a ring? So she's got whispering promise. 1d4 to attack rolls and saving throws. Okay. Uh, let's just check out Catbug. What are you wearing currently? Aurora can see in the dark up to 12 meters. That is literally kind of useless because Catbug can already see in the dark. 
Let's get rid of that. Uh, Mage's friend? Plus one Arcana, plus one religion. It's probably best to have a uh, cat bug wear that. So, guiding light. Where do we put that? Let's put that on. No oh, there's an extra button to the ba to the basement, to the windows, to the walls. What did you actually get? Until long rest, infuse an object with an aura of light. Now, if this was any other D&D campaign, then uh, immediately we would try and cast light on one of our player's eyeballs, because that's what happens. Happened. Has happened. Alright, is there anything that we can steal? Broken machinery. Can we talk to Bernard? Can we save first? Uh, guardian of the Enchanted Tower. Hey, buddy. Welcome in this house. I wait for your commands. Hmm. What is this place? An unbeknownst command that I can't fulfill. There is light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. And in its way, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that the one can thrive. Alternatively, we can get into combat with a bunch of automatons. Which might not be something we wanted to try. Hmm. Kind of don't want to kill these lads. Right. We have a solution. And the solution is to ask the dungeon master if we can just roll back a little bit. So we don't actually uh, murder these fools. I can't reach this. Who? Wait. Shut a heart. You can turn the candles on. Oh. Can we... I don't want to steal the broken... I think we probably should leave these people to their stuff. I can't see that they're going to be doing... Hmm. Yeah, let's just descend. Let's just peace out. There's a lot of people here. To keep pushing. All right. Uh, let's hit this and push the button that we didn't see before, which is basement. All right. I think... Can we do... Boom. Light everything up a little bit more. Thank you. Is that blood? Yep. Uh, no, never mind. Ah, Timisk spores. More of them. So we got Scroll of Thunder Wave. Uh, Expeditious Retreat. And Raven Feeblement. Cool. I don't think that should have been vibrating. The flask stand appears to have shaken itself through the table. All right. Uh, Crown of Madness, Dark Vision. So we got some books, bookity books. Dancing lights, yeah. It's a nice little, nice little ambient aura. Top floor. Just, oh, we got some cool stuff over there. Need basilisk the oil, forward. yes. We already have quite a bit of basilisk oil, but if you see someone who's frozen or you accidentally turn someone into stone, you're going to need that. Bonk into the pants it goes. Uh, Skull of Anime Dead. More Crown of Madness. Scroll of Fly. Bestow the ability to fly on yourself or ally. No, oh, for ten turns. About a minute. Hmm. Scroll of gust of wind. All right. Neat. Camera, please. Calm yourself. So Bernard's Bernard's the automaton that protects this place. What's uh, here? We have the sparks wall. Uh, spark blocker. The wearer can't be electrocuted. Grants resistance to lightning damage. Okay. Arrow of arcane interference. Breaks your target's concentration. And silence it. Ah. Pain death. Necklace 80 gold. Interesting. The wearer can't be electrocuted. Can we even be electrocuted? Some water... Hmm. An open letter to oppression and peacocks. What? Let's read it. Uh, 
dear editor, I find it despicable, nay diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic! My darling gazelle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet, to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call a upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake. I and I shall take this to the highest of authorities, should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Gazelle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Alder Rivengard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. What? Tongue of Madness. A tongue of Madness. Mm, tongue of Madness. Mm, a round flask. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Staff of Arcane Blessing. Junk. Straighten the pants. What does that do? Uh, it. So it's one to eight damage. Uh, Mistress Blessing. Bless grants an additional 1d4 saving throws and weapon attack rolls and an additional 2d4 to spell and uh, spell attack rolls. What? So you cast Bless and then you get 2d4 to spell attack rolls. Seems pretty good. Unfortunately, we've got Spell Sparker, which charges us up. I don't know. I mean, do we carry on with, like, having electric charges? They do give us life. And they do cause more damage. Uh, what else? Crusher's Ring. Movement speed plus three meters. Mage's Friend. We could put the we could put the thing on so we don't get electrocuted. I mean, we've just gone full... We've just become, like... Taser elf. We just tase people. We have become the taser elf. What does that mean? I, I don't actually know. Oh, I see. And there's a lover. Better not be cursed. Right, 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 right. The whole. Okay. And then we can just go back up to where we were, I guess. If we wanted to do that. Let's do that. Um, camera. Yep. And that's how you get in the basement. We were trying to misty step into the basement. Arcane Not lights. Yes. Of course. Uh huh. Ascend. Uh, I think ascend again. Chunk. Okay, fine. So are these things, are these things gonna look at us funny? Mm, no. What's that? Chest of the mundane. There was. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Uh, chest of the mundane. Come over here. Come here. Come us. Come here. There we go. Gonna try something. Spoon. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Scroll of protection of good and evil. Mistress Grace. Level one transmutation spell. The fall. Scroll of mage armor. So what's this? A bowl. Gold ingot, which I will immediately send to camp because it's heavy. And the bowl become. Oh. That sounds like a potion. Hearth light bomb. Bathe a nearby area in light. Illuminates a 9 meter radius for 10 turns. Yeah, okay. I believe what you can do is you can pick up the chest of the mundane, pop it in your inventory, and then put stuff in there because it changes things into mundane items temporarily. And it gives you like a, a weight thing. So you can just... Do I... Can I pick that up? Uh, chest of the mundane. Empty. Can I just... Pop 
like into the inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to camp if I can. So I still have it, but I'm not gonna to totes get rid of it. Okay, fine. Um, good. So, what we're gonna do, we've done the arcane tower as far as I can tell. Arcane cannon, arcane cannon, right, okay, fine. Uh, so kill Nair, breed deep gnomes, and reach the out of Mountain Forge. We've got the tea house, which we can't get to. Selly Knight Outpost, which we can probably get back to. Let's go back to the Mycony Colony. Because I want to sell some stuff. Because I gotta sell some stuff. I'm gonna sell some stuff. And save. And save. Perhaps because we got some mushies in my pants. So, save real quick. Mm. It simply shouldn't be possible. Uh, can I trade with you? Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I have. I do. Trade. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Yeah, I want to get rid of some stuff, my dude. Like, this drow studded leather armor, which is great, uh, but is super expensive. Um, rare light armor. Yeah, I don't think anyone here wears light armor. So that's, uh... Wait, what? Why does that... I didn't sell it. Wait, if I take this sh shovel... Weird! It's off by one. Yeah, the the thing's off by one. Old floppy hat. So if I pick up the... I can't pick up that, but I can pick up the one above it? No, that's... Yeah, that's selecting the... That's selecting plus four. What? That's the hat. Oh, yeah, something's gone very badly wrong here. Let's leave. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalogue. Uh, okay, can I talk to you again? Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I want to trade with you. Can I trade the silver necklace? Yeah, it's working now. Got to leave and come back again. So did he actually get the armor? Yes, he got the armor, I think. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that, that did work. Ooh, all right. Um, I don't really want to... Let's just... No, it's broken again. I just put a rock over there. I wanted to get the, rid of the ring. Nope. I... don't feel comfortable doing this because it definitely is messed up somehow and I don't know how. Ooh. I'm hoping we're actually transferring the right stuff across. What's that? Psychic star. Magic missile! Oh, can I grab you? Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Now, that is actually pretty decent. I'm going to close that. So we've got a lot of money. Let's leave. Yeah, I think the, the whole thing's Have off by the one. Lately? Let's do this. So what, what necklaces is everyone wearing? Slyn is chosen. Uh, Korma's locket, which is actually pretty good. I mean, at restoration, I'll switch back. So if we're in... Something appears to be slightly wrong here, and I'm not entirely sure why. Well, we'll persevere. Uh, where is it? It is Psychic Spark. Let's move that over. Alright. And you're wearing Amulet of Selene's Chosen, so let's get rid of that. 
and replace it with Psychic Spark, which means... Hello? There we go. Something's not quite right. I might need to reload this. I think we can uh, we can wait till the, the break. Um, but it means that Karlak now has the ability to cast Magic Missile, I think. Uh, so we close this up. But at such an accelerated Switch rate. Switch to Karlak. Making me sweat. Yeah, Karlak now gets Magic Missile. 3d4 plus 3 force. 6 to 15 damage. So, if she is out of range, she can either plink stuff with a ranged attack, 5 to 12, or she can use Magic Missile. Magic Missile always hits. Always hits. So that's pretty good. Until long rest. So she gets one of them. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's switch back. Here at save. And well, in it. Uh, hey, dude. I greet you, child of the dark. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Hmm. Okay. How do you survive? Don't you need brains? Oh, we can ask him a bunch of questions. So I have the mushrooms, but yeah. How do you survive? Don't you need brains? In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains. He required souls. A perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world, and he preferred its rot. So I left his company, and thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Ah, uh, there's no trusting mind flare. Attack! Leave. That's disgusting. You're a monster. Hmm, best way to deal with that sort of hunger, I suppose. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost, yes? Interesting. So he still eats people's brains, but he only eats people's brains who oppose society's goals? How did you escape your colony? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the Elder Brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled before the colony discovered I had defected. Okay. I found these mushrooms you were looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluum turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. I can make no promises as to its taste. Uh, what exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Omeluum watches you with cautious intensity. It expects doubt. It expects fear. What aren't you telling me? Is this experiment dangerous? Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel, I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. Hmm, drink the potion. The potion is disgusting beyond description. The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. 
You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Mm, staring to the swelling abyss. Saving throw. Uh, draw on your willpower and resist. Okay, so we get plus one from forbidden knowledge. Uh, that's because we read the uh, necromancy of Thay. And plus three from wisdom proficiency. Let's do it. So we got... Okay. So we got plus four. A minimum of plus five. Okay. Dark holes bite at the edges of your vision, but the void cannot draw you in. The tentacle spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it needs to hollow out your skull. Hmm. Drown the tadpole out by focusing on a tune. Resist the panic from within. Uh, wall off your mind from the psionic seizure. Okay. So we got... So these top two are the same. It's plus one, plus three, and then plus one d4. So again, a minimum of like plus five. Drown out the tadpole by focusing on a tool. Yes. Uh... Let's, let's focus on a tune. Well then, natural 20. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power more power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluum, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Hmm. The potion of yours could have killed me. The tap hole almost did the same. You were supposed to make it weak, not stronger. I felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. Hmm. What's next? Cutting off my own head? I suppose it's not all bad. More power is better than less. So I went through all this and the tapal still lodged in my brain? Indeed. Although I may have another solution, albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Uh, either give me the ring or I'll run you through intimidation. I could probably get away with Intimidation, plus four from Charisma, plus three from Intimidation proficiency, so a minimum of plus seven. One T D20 plus seven. I don't know. That dude's probably pretty scary. Uh, how about I tell you more about the Nautiloid every last detail? No, I want this power. Keep your ring. I have gold. Will that suit? Why didn't you mention the ring before this potion debacle? Uh, how about I tell you more about the Nautiloid every last detail? A fascinating topic indeed. What can you tell me? Uh, intelligence. Offer a detailed logical analysis of the Nautiloid performance. Give a dramatic retelling of your time in the Mindflare ship. 
We get plus four from charisma. Or plus one from intelligence. Offer a detailed logical analysis of the Nautiloid. I think I'm going to do that. Intelligence. Oh, right. That's a 15. And we get plus two. But then we roll 22, so that's great. What a brilliant experience. To feel one step closer to my ancestors is a fine gift indeed. Here, it is yours. May it serve you as well as it has served me. To deal with this abomination, nigh unthinkable. Yet even Vlacketh herself could not deny the ring's merit. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Interesting. Got a ring of mind shielding. Where did you go? Where did you go? Hmm. Uh, by type. Rings, 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 ring of mind shielding. Shelter, you have an advantage on saving throws against Charmed. The ring is forged from a smooth alien metal, carved with the eyes of emerald that watch the world unblinking. Oh. So we could lose some movement speed and gain mind shielding? Uh, I'll do it. I don't quite know. Resistances. Cold resistance. Uh, and shelter. Survival instinct. Infuse a creature with psionic force. Wait, where did this come from? Uh, if it reaches zero hit points, it heals instead of falling unconscious. Oh. Neat. What? Dancing lights. Oh, we can do dancing lights. It's a cantrip. Oh, we should have probably been doing that instead of uh, instead of Shadowheart. Sorry, Shadowheart. Can't afford to stay idle. Mhm. Mm yeah. Well, she has the amulet of restoration in any way. So, does everyone has have a pair of rings? No, not everyone has the pair of rings. All right. Uh, I wish. I wish at this point you could actually... So Crusher's ring movement speed. She gets... Uh, where Wearer starts the turn with 50% hit points or less. Gain momentum for one turn. We can actually make Lazel super quick. Or not. And then... There we go. Things are not quite right. Glowing shield. I'm wondering if... Plus two armor class. So she gets a sorrowful lash from there. It's three to twelve damage. What does she get in terms of a mace? Have we not picked up any more maces? I don't think we have. Uh, okay. Some walkers give the where I can see in the dark up to 12 meters. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't great for this party because this party is pretty, pretty beefy jeefy already. That's some decent. Ah, uh, yeah, Mistress Grace. Who's not wearing anything that uh, boots of speed? Springs up boots. Uh, when the wearer dashes or takes a similar action, momentum for three turns. Yep, yep, yep. Speedy light feet. Uh, speedy sparks when the wearer dashes she gets three lightning charges i don't think that's very good for her whip those out and whip the with the boots that can cast feather so she can now cast featherfall good good i think we're in a good position here uh, we can send the camp supplies back to camp because why would we not do that Good. Um, good. I think that's a good mix of stuff. There is a ring slot. A ring slot that she's not using. Hmm. I 
can make her immune to lightning damage. I mean, that seems... <sighs> plus one arcana, plus one religion. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make her immune. Uh, yeah, no, it went. It went. So she can't be tased. So you just run up and just smack people with a big old... Uh, big old axe and not get tased. Right. Rituals. I think what you should probably do... Got to keep moving. Is... Uh, is this lady still over here? Can we sell stuff to her? Oh no, she's still there. I don't know if the, I don't know if we've got anything we can actually. Let's get going. We have so many scrolls. I gotta split these things up. These things are gonna be split up. All right, uh, furnace Grimforge. Let's just send that to camp. Uh, Tatter scroll sent to camp. Scribble notes sent to camp. Well, we don't need any of that stuff. Memory shard. I think we could probably send that or sell it. Yeah, I think that's probably fine for the time being. Right, Best so, uh, I don't think we can do any more. I think what we actually need to do is go back to the surface. So, the Risen Road. I just clicked on it thinking that it would show us the map. Not... Not here. So, the Mountain Pass. Travel to the Mountain Pass. Okay, fine. I think we can get to the Mountain Pass in two ways. Down here in the south. Or up here in the north. I'm gonna go to Joaquin's Rest. Excellent. Right, so. Um, and because we've taken some damage from the Arcane Towers, do we wanna heal? Probably? Great God Helm. Allow us to oh, I just kinda, I kinda, I kinda of wanna. I kinda of wanna, like, bring that guy back to life and just have a little chat with him, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Where is Mountain Pass from here? Across the Broken Bridge? Oh, that's the Broken Bridge. That's... Ah, I see. I see. Oh, yeah, it's there. It's there. There's, there's another bridge. So they annihilate this one. And there's another bridge. Right, let's go down. Do we have the ability to talk to the dead? We might be able to talk to these lads. See what was going on. Uh, Flaming Fist Mercenary, 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 and you. Alright. Uh, we have Speak With Dad. Let's do it. The corpse regards you lifelessly. So these guys were caught by the Gith, and they were annihilated, I guess? What were you doing here? Seeking path. Baldur's Gate. Hmm. Did you find the way to Baldur's Gate? Oh. How did you die? Monstrous warriors. Keen swords. Black spots. He crossed blades with a Githyanki. Few survived the ordeal. Fewer still claim victory. Hmm. Where did this monstrous warrior come from? Mountain Pass. Who are you? You, son of Gara. You? Then you're Zoru's friend. Fellow scout, Druid's Grove. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I love the fact that you can just go around talking to dead bodies. In any other game, it would just be a case of... Oh, there's a pouch empty. It would just be a case of... Yeah, these guys dead, loot them and move on. But here, it's just like... Ah, oh, let's talk to the dead. Corpse from silent. Uh, some of these aren't going to have. Hello? The corpse has nothing to say. Yeah, some of these aren't going to be able to say anything. Oh, what's in the signpost? Detour. Dragon destroyed the road. The dragon destroyed it, alright. There's nothing left. Right, okay, so 
Uh, we're gonna need to go this way. I think, I mean, Githyanki Crash sounds like it's gonna be tricksy. Uh, we're currently level five. And we're pretty kitted out. We got lightning blast as a pendant. Yeah, all right, okay, fine. So, uh, we are, yeah, we are, we are Taser Warlock, apparently, because that's the thing now. Um, Shadowheart, I think, I think we're going to need to find her a mace or something. I'm wondering if that shield actually glows. That'd be kind of neat. Because even though the whole party has, uh, like, dark vision, just as a player, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Although, I suppose we can just run around casting dancing lights and everything from this point. Okay, fine. I'm just going to... I'm just going to reset the recording and maybe the actual game itself. And we're back in the game. Back in the game. Well, for you, it was a dip to black. For me, I just reset everything because I wasn't entirely sure what was going on. So, uh, let us head towards the crash. Now, I believe as a kind of leftover from, uh, from early access, you'll get to a point where it says mountain pass and it's it might say you can't go back but i think you can so we can go do the mountain pass stuff and then go back to the underdark yeah you're about to progress your adventure make sure to type any loose ends before advancing i think this is left over from the early access Okay, map. Uh, Emerald Grove environs, Blighted Village, Walking Zero. So yeah, we can go back. We can go back. Ending dialogue. Okay. Right, interesting. So we've just crossed the bridge. And we can go back. We can absolutely go back. So we're still in Act 1. What is, uh, what's going on? What is this nonsense? Wow. All right. I wonder how many people don't come this way because they want to do the Underdark. Go da 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 rope. Da 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 wooden trunk. We are... We're not damaged. Hmm. I wonder what happened there because it did load. We're still level five. All right. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. There's a dagger and a flaming fist helmet. I don't really want These them. boots have seen everything. Rogue's morsel. More I th for me. think we can now... 240 XP, waypoint discovered. <gasps> There's a waypoint over here. Ancient sigils circle. Wait. These markings... Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Tirsu script, you said. What does that mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Hmm. I'll lead us there in my own time. We need to stay close if we're to survive. Wait for me here. I'll return when I'm ready. Come, let's get to the crash. How do I know I can trust your people? You don't have to trust them. Only to trust me. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. You know, I think Lazel's pretty good. Yeah. Um, come, let's get to the crash. Very well. You may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Alright, okay, fine. We'll have to find the crash. Uh, can we talk to Lazel about this thing that we picked up? This thing. Uh, read disk appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too, and considers the vision. Tirsu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. 
No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story. About... about Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. You look uneasy. Are you all right? I am fine. The slate is not. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. I understand. Keep it to yourself. It is for the best. Hmm. Ask Lazelle about the disc from the Underdark. Okay. You said you were going to share your bunk with Starion. Okay. Have you thought about uh, making use of the Tapol's power? Hmm. Wait for me in camp. I think... Uh, ask Lazelle about the disc from the Underdark. I think that might just go back through, but let's ask her anyway. Once again, your mind opens to Lazelle, and she considers the disc. More writings on Orpheus, the so-called Prince of the Comet. I understand if you want to keep it to yourself. Good. Let that be the end of it. Okay, cool. Um, let's just leave. I don't want to ask her about her fun times with the, the dude. Where are we going then? She's like, if you stray too far, follow the mountain pass. Crush you like. Uh, alright. Wait. Travel through the mountain pass. Follow the mountain pass. So I, I think we need to go to the crash and get crash stuff sorted. Whoop! Whoop! Got his boat controls. Plaque. Curse to put my hands on everything. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Looks like Lathander, god of the dawning sun. God of the dawning sun. But not Hello. Hmm. Okay, fine. Ah, a little bit of a little bit of lookout of the thing. So the Gethyanki Crush must be this temple, then. All right, we're we're gonna beeline it there because I don't want. I absolutely do not want laser. I don't want Lazel to leave. What? Lazel, do you mind if we talk to the, some random stranger at the side of the road? I'm going to do a quick save. Boom. Let's do it. Who are you that we are standing uncomfortably close to? Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know... I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Uh, it looks like a temple. Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards, but stupid, chucky. Your charming companion would call it a crash, but it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. You tried to buy one of their children? What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliant 
once asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. I'm sorry, what? I'm kind of on board with Lazel here. She does not seem to like this, and I don't like it either. Uh, Drow. They used to think my people were inherently evil too, you know. Well, yes, but now we know better. Only some of you are bloodthirsty terrors. But if you believe in this cause so strongly, why not help the society prove your point? They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. What is this? My friend is right. What you suggest is revolting and you need to die. Hmm, sounds good. I'm in. Do you have any equipment worth trading? Oh, we can trade with her before we tell her to bugger off. All right, let's do that. What has she got? A scythe. A scythe named Hoppy. Oh. Uh, not proficient with martial weapons or war pick. Oh, it's a war pick. Oh, all right. Um, pretty bad of wound closure. Wound closure. When downed, automatically stabilized at the start of the turn. What is this nonsense? Dies. Uh, gloves of baneful striking. Monk stuff. Boots of elemental momentum. Uh, elemental momentum. When the wearer deals acid, cold, fire, or lightning, thunder damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain momentum for two turns. All right. Uh, the graceful cloth. Oh. Cat's grace. You gain cat's grace. Increase your dex score by two to a maximum of twenty. Nimble as a cat. You gain plus one bonus for dexterity saving throws. Also, increase your jump distance by one point five meters. It's cloth. Oh. Increase your dex by two to a maximum of 20. And you gain plus one dexterity by saving throws. Resistant to cold damage. Or we get a weird looking ass armor. Ass armor. That's kind of cool. Uh, cacophony. Oh, Thunder of Smite. 3 to 13 damage. That seems pretty nice. We, why are we holding on to Spell Sparker? Don't know. Scroll of Color Spray. Got some various bits and pieces here, including greater healing and a potion of healing. I'm kind of interested in the Cat's Grace stuff. Increase your deck score plus two. That is pretty nice. Where did that go? Let's grab that. Um, and... Gloves of Cinder and Sizzle. Your unarmed attack deals additional plus one to four, five. We don't, uh, it's monk stuff. Yeah, we don't have like monk stuff. Um, I think there's a pendant. I think everyone's wearing pendants. So if you go down, oh, potent healing maximizes the number of hit points restored. Ah. And when down, automatically stabilize at the start of the turn. So you automatically get up. That's incredibly powerful. I'm going to buy it anyway. I'm not going to leave it there. Winter's uh, Clutches. When the wearer deals cold damage. Oh, we don't have anyone who does that. Let's grab the greater healing as well. Is there anything we want to get rid of? Probably. Kind of don't need the Shroud and Shadow. 90 bucks. 
Hmm, some of these are just not worth that much. Staff of Arcane Blessing. Uh, engraved Githyanki Discs. You might want to buy that. Arthlight Bomb. These things, like, very rare. 367. Oh. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll hold on to it then. Um, thank you for your stuff. I'm not getting involved in this. Pity. You'd have become rather rich had you the proper sense. Should you change your mind, you know where to find me. Yeah, I ain't doing that. I'm not stealing stuff off of uh, the Gith just to just to upset Lazelle. Um, speaking of upsetting people, I did just buy some armor off you. Let's sort by type. Let's see, where's the, where's the armor? Did I actually buy the armor? Yeah, there it is. Graceful cloth. Cat's grace. So what is our dex at the moment? 13. It's pretty high. Wisdom and charisma. Charisma is pretty high as well. Let's chunk that in. So we do we have to use Cat's grace? Let's pull that out. Yeah. So dex is 13 and now it's 15. All right. All right, so we lose resistance to cold damage. Uh, I thought it was fire damage. Robe of Summer. All right, all right. And uh, the other thing was a... That's definitely a pendant, isn't it? I wonder if we wear that. Wear the lightning blast. So how, how damaging is lightning blast? Focus well, the electricity in your veins to strengthen your next lightning spell or cantrip. We have one lightning spell, which is Witch Bolt. So we could bonus action and then make that more powerful. We never seem to use Witch Bolt. That seems pretty decent. Wound Closure. So if we go down, Potent Healing Maximums. That might be better for Shadow Heart. What are you wearing? Oh, I mean, like restoration. Okay, fine. All right, All ignore right. me. What now? So if we do go down, we oh, are man. not. We'll, we'll be picked up automatically. Okay, fine. There's temple bits everywhere. This view is almost worth the walk. View is almost worth the walk. So temple there. Oh, I see. Yep. All right. I see. I see now. Oh. There's a sign. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. The fairy. Oh, right. Cable car wheel. Maybe not. Oh. Strength. Hill giant strength and then guidance. Um, can we just back out of that? We can customize our dice. I got the scuff metal dice. I think that was the one that was just easier to view. Um, I don't want to use hill giant strength. Let's just do this. Well, we needed 15 and we got 17. Good. Interesting. So we winch it up and does it fall back under gravity? Hmm. I guess so. Hey, uh, we're going to take a cable car. Probably going to skip out on a bunch of stuff, but let's just try it. Oh my god. Shadow Heart is now like a million miles away. Oh, can we do this without rolling a strength check? Oh, thankfully, it, it allows us to do that. Shadow Heart, 
could you please get on the boat? What is going on? Also, this rope doesn't seem to actually be moving. Hey, Shadowheart, gonna need you to get on the ride. Keep your arms and legs in all si at all times, and don't poke your head out the side. There we go. Now we know. Now we know. Oh, we'd probably had to jump across there and run around. It's not that far, I guess. A lot about a jumping. But that would have been, that would have been, that would have been fine. Donk. Okie dokie. What is all of this? Hey, uh, Lazelle, we are making a bean line to the crash. I have a feeling... What was that? Oh, the crags. Okay. All right. I have a feeling... Greater Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Silver Amulet, Gold 23, Pilgrim's Curse, Pilgrim's Prayer. We'll take the Autumn take Crocus. I don't know. See, sometimes you see these offerings to gods. Potion of Greater Healing. Might just leave this stuff here. Take the Autumn Crocus, though. Elixir of Greater Arcane Cultivation. Alright, let's go down. Towards, I guess, the crash. I don't know what we're supposed to find here, but the fact that the game felt the need to straight up um, refresh all our health and everything. There's a shovel here as well. Ah, check this out. Waypoint discovered. Boom. Don't think we need to get too close to it, but yeah, we're done now. It's on the map. Fine. Uh, the closer I water. I wonder why it keeps telling us there's water here. Don't know. Well, at least it did actually save, so that's fun. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Interesting. They were wearing the symbol of the... Jeez, what was the symbol of the chosen one? The, 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 the absolute, absolute symbol. Hey. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hmm. What do you know about this weapon? Where are you from? What are you doing here? Who are you? Corinus, under temp, novice of the absolute. All right. I mean, we have just murdered an entire, uh, an entire camp of absolute followers. So, all right. What did Githyanki want with cultists? Searching, hunting for. Weapon. What do you know about this weapon? Nothing was telling the truth. Didn't know anything. Hmm. 
Hmm, why are we so desperate to run? Where are you from? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Towers, absolute answering the call. What is happening at Moonrise Towers? Gathering, coalescing, preparing. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. So, yeah, I think on the surface you see a bunch of halflings get mown down by Githyanki and it's just like, I want to save those people, let's murder the Githyanki! And in reality, these guys are preparing some bad stuff too. Oh, she's level 5. She ain't wearing nothing but light armor. Oh, what? You're dead now. Um, oh, some balsam over here. Let's grab that. I don't think there's any place where we can jump to. No, just having a little look around. That's a that's a quite a big area here. Right, so I guess we're gonna be on high alert. Uh, oh, wooden What's crate. Here? Don't mind if I don't mind if I have a little peek. Oh, not a peek peek. So you got some water going on. I think what we'll do. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Oh, the artifact. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Uh, so what? I mean, mm, they want the art. They want Shadowheart's artifact, but they also want whatever the heck is at Moonrise Towers. Save. Uh, knock. Hmm. Hmm. Is there another way in? Well, I suppose we could just lockpick the door. Uh. Maybe? Let's jump through there. Into the wine rack room. There's a torch. Yeah, can we just jump in? Yeah. What do you mean, too drunk? It's not possible. A kobold looter. Ha ba! Oh, four camp supplies. Uh, can we just send to camp? Yeah, we can. We don't even need to pick it up. Oh, neat. And an empty bottle. We can attack this guy? I don't want to attack it. Can we examine? Kabad! Arm class 12. Strength dex. Oh, very high dex. But everything else is pretty rubbish. Sleeping, firewine, belly. Got dark vision, pack tactics, and sunlight sensitivity. Oh. Kebab, kebab, kebab. Kebab, kebab, kebab. Kebab. I speak kebab. Kebab. Let's just not wake these guys up then. Slurp. Kebab scout, level five. Um. I guess if you don't go through the front door, what is over here? I suppose we could just lock pick the front door and go straight in. Or we could deal with these guys and then go around the side, I guess? These. Uh, hmm. Kaba, kaba, kaba. Kaba, 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 kaba. What? Yeah, these guys are drunk off their ass. Slurp. Let's just set up, I guess. Wake up! Someone's trying to nick our mail! 
Oh, or not. That smell. I recognize that vintage. Those kobolds are three sheets to the wind. Yeah, these kobolds are off their face. Right. How much hit points do they have? Not much. Uh we could do scorching ray. Just spread the damage out. My disadvantage path is interrupted. Uh, why have I got disadvantage? From what? Hmm. Eldritch Blast. Let's do two Eldritch Blasts. A crit miss and a kill. Right. Okay. In turn. Heating up. Yeah, Karlak, I'm gonna need you to kill some fools. We could do magic missile. One, two, three, four. It was an interesting look. It's got to be said. Uh, let's do bear heart. Boom. Okay. Swift and lethal. Swift and lethal. Lizal, what have you got? Wounding ray. Oh yeah, because you can like just tase people now. I'm just gonna go in and probably kill that person, and then probably kill that person, and then probably. Uh, not enough movement. Can she not? Oh. Uh. I just realised all of this is alcohol. Mahal. We can probably just set it on fire. Okay. Uh, we'll do a action surge and chunk this guy. Then probably just. Oh wait, no, she can do. Oh, she can't. It's an action, and she can't do that. Okay, fine. Uh, who can we chunk for like death? Nine damage. Four. All right. Got to concentrate. Got to concentrate. Let, let's get out of the stuff. What? Why can't she go? Can't reach his destination. Lazel's not that big. Is it just because? Oh, probably because Karlak kind of counts as being in the way. Right. Uh, let us. She do scorching ray. Doot. Path is interrupted. Doot. Doot. Hmm. I mean, a significant amount of damage. Okay. Fine. And just protect. Kappa. Send her. Mm, don't react. Don't react. Uh, somebody's even moving or thinking, I think. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Okay. E well, that's what I thought. Like, the wine would actually become flammable, but it, I guess it's not. Okay, don't react. Don't react. Right. Uh. Huh. Cloud of daggers on you. Two. It was ridiculously powerful. 
but also completely useless now so let's turn that off stop concentrating on it and uh, can we just jump down to here do not react no I don't think we can move all right we could misty step well let's not do that uh, let us jump to here switch out places and then chonk you reckless attack uh, and then can we ping you for one yep and enter uh, Lizelle can we do something here there's two dudes there unfortunately hmm ray of fear <sighs> wounding ray until long rest. Uh, let's hold on to that and then just plink you for three. Critical miss. Try it again. Hit the wrong guy. Perfect. Enter. What's the plan? Probably get out of the fire. There we go. Um. So one, two, three, four, five. There's still five alive. That's a single point damage. Plink them with fireball. It's a miss? Are you serious? Probably should have healed ourselves, but sure, whatever. Hellish Rebuke. Okay, right. So, you guys. Disadvantage. Target's too close. Uh, let's move to here if we can. Two attacks of opportunity, critical hits. And then hit them with. Doop. And. Doop. And one of them's dead. And the other one's not. Can we heal? We can. Drink. Excellent. Because otherwise that was getting a little bit tight. This is gonna feel good. Hmm. Okay, can we jump up there? Oh. And then oh I can't jump anymore. Run through the run through the fire. And then chonk you. And can't get to there, but let's see if we can chonk you with a bolt. Hmm, they're dead. At least one more. All right. I am fury. I am death. I am fury. I am death. Speaking of fury's death, <laughs> right. There's something over here still slurping, and I think everything here is dead. Swift as my feet can <gasps> carry me. Are we still getting burnt? By huh. Yeah, there's a lot of dead cobalt scouts here over here. <gasps> Ceremonial mace. Two to seven. I can take it. Cobalt journal. Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. Okay, uh, read. A collection of drawings, some cruder than others. Most feature kobolds in varying degrees of nakedness, some performing sexual acts on themselves, and some on each other. The final pages, however, feature more varied subjects. A soaring red dragon, Githyanki of various ages, and surprisingly detailed depictions of wine bottles. Alright, uh, center camp. Alright, interesting. Are these guys just going to have... Mmm, welcome as fire. Take that. Okay, let's go. I mean... It looks 
like we are just going to send a bunch of alcohol back to camp. It's just easier than carrying it around. So do we need to come in here and kill a bunch of kobolds? Not really. It's kind of a bit of a mistake. Didn't mean to murder a bunch of these guys. Gloop, gloop. It's still playing the drinking anim uh, drinking sounds. Weird. Uh, send a camp and then loot that guy. So it looks like the kobolds came in here Camp. All right, with the Githyan key? I don't know. Let's do a lot of short rust. Fresh. Get our stuff back. Huh. I'm wondering if how we get into there. Oh, we can just go through here. Ah, look at this. Glug, 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 glug. glug. Everything's still falling over, apparently. Can we jump through the door? Path is interrupted. Oh. Hmm. Can we just walk through here? Nope. Can we can we walk through here? Can we jump through here? I don't know if space path is interrupted. Oh. Oh, because that's where we were anyway. Oh, uh, of course, I'm being stupid. Ignore me. I'm being pretty dumb. So do we go up? Let's explore. Can we? Nope. Can we go here? Then do a leap across here? Or is it just that I've got Cat's Grace and nobody else can follow? Come on, guys. Um... Oh yeah, we could go onto the roof. Hang on a sec. We're missing someone. Can can action, not reaction. Can the get can the get the Yankee please? No, go this way, please, 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 please. Don't all jump back across the chasm. All right, go here. Cool. Still alive. So that's progress. Unlink. Right. Okay. You jump across. That's a heck of a jump. Have to keep going. I wonder if you jump on. Mm, no, that would. It's chasm down there, isn't it? Right. Let's go here. Chunk everyone back, and then just can't get there. Jump into the water. Splish. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm uh huh. Uh huh. And Link, Lazel, come on, come on, Lazel. Nope, Lazel. Indolence breeds madness. Uh huh. Let's not jump into the pond. Onward. Survival failed. Looking ahead. Oh, it looks like a little swimming pool. Breathe deep, and move. Move. So, what exactly are we doing up here, apart from... I think we're supposed to be going down. Hey guys, you... <gasps> Breakable wall! Alright, well we're on the roof at least. Over this place which is pretty biffed up. Uh I don't know if there's too much here. No. It's just a huge huge temple. Well we can sit on the granite bench, I guess. Okay, is there anything up here? Ah. What's here? It's glowing, or whatever this stuff is. Oh, twisting vines. All right, cool. Don't want to get caught in that. Wooden crate? Nothing, as expected. Anything Other wooden crate. 
Ah, potion of greater healing and a regular potion. I think I'll take that. Is there anything over there? I mean, I think we're supposed to go down below the temple, but sure. That's a giant eagle. Yeah, I'm going to talk to the giant eagle. What of it? You're not giant eagleist. Let's jump over that. It should work. Uh, or not. Uh, jump. Here. All right, everyone else is going to get stuck at some point. Crystal. Intruder! In my nest! This area was meant to be safe! Xavier, get behind mummy! Uh, attack back away slowly. Persuasion. I'm just interested in the big device. I promise not to meddle with the nest. Plus four from charisma. Advantage with friends and guidance. Yeah, let's try that. Dirty 20. Uh, fine. Xavier. Xavier! Don't talk to it. It might have germs. Oh. I want to talk to Xavier. So the red one is the one we uh, cast friends on. Can we talk to this one then? For discussion. You can pass, but you're not to talk to me. Gross. All right, Crystal. What does Crystal do? Use? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, these crystals don't do anything. Looks to be a powerful weapon. I wonder if it was used on the Githyanki nearby. Okay. So we've got these crystals around the outside. And then we've got this thing. Can we eat... Uh, twisting vines. Yeah. I don't think we can do anything to it. So I'm not, not going to go any... Uh, dead cobalt. I'm not going to go near the nest. Just kind of want to see if we can do anything with this. No, we can't. All right. That's very interesting. That goes down a long old way. And that's Twisting Vines as well. Alright, that will take us back to the roof. This is so much. Like, you think of, oh, we're, we're going to build a game. Alright, cool. How big is this game? Uh, it's huge. It's just, just giant. Jump, jump. There you go. Alright. Kind of want to get over there. I think... N no. I don't think we can do that. Um, I think we'd have to jump from here to... Yeah, not enough space. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back to these vines. Boop. And then go through this barricade and get on the lower level. Interesting though. Yeah, okay. A bunch of stuff up there. Uh, can we chunk that? I'm, uh, I'm past it. A disadvantage. Sorry, I need to stand back a little bit. Because uh, Eldritch Blast is a. is an action, not a spell. Interesting. Cool. Alright. Is someone crying? Is someone crying? I... I don't know. Uh... Hello? Cursed Earth Pizza? What is this nonsense? I'm not going to react. No. I can't 
kind of failed. What are these little things? Gramishka. Alright. Uh, I can just probably kill that lot. Do it. Using magic around these things is more trouble than it's worth. Magic allergy. I should probably kill all those guys anyway. Um, and turn. Oh. The less magic, the better, or they'll be frenzied. They're unstable. Right. So I think yeah, all these guys died. But now all these guys are unstable because we just use magic near them. Eee, that ain't great. Oh, can we can we get to here Close ranks. and use cleave? We got cleave, right? Reckless attack. That did not kill everyone. Hmm, okay. Five, all right, let's do that one. Uh, enter. I will ascend. I will ascend. Can you get to here, I guess? Cool. Chonk that one. Hmm, chonk that one. Uh, then smack that one again. One damage. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna action surge. Uh, target's too far. Well, smack that one. Um, smack that one. And we can't pommel strike, but these guys are pretty damaged now. Enter. Right, right. Uh, main hand attack. So she could just kill one of these outright, I think. Bah, all right. Let's see what happens. Oh. That's what happens. Right, she should probably not be doing magic at this point in time. Uh, yeah, can we... So these little kitties, if you use magic around them, turn into giant uh, 42 hit points versus like the 16 that they normally have gee all right all right well, let's just main hand attack that which is a miss uh can we drink a potion it's better mm, hellish rebuke Because, uh, oh, that thing's going to explode. So is that thing. Kind of need to chonk something and kill it. Right. Uh, Legacy of Avernus, Searing Smite. Let's do it. Regular attack, please. Lizelle, I really need you to kill all of these things. And that one. Good. Uh, excellent. That thing's now on fire. But we'll get into position anyway. And then turn. Hey, so it's got three hit points. 
Uh, you have a really big spear. 3 to 12 damage. If she hits, she'll kill her. <gasps> Not gonna lie. Uh, oh, Wizard's Bane potion. Oh, of course, these guys are gonna give you Wizard's Bane uh, potion ingredients. Oh, and it turned back into a little kitty. I don't feel good killing cats. But these aren't normal cats. These are horrible cats that will turn into giant cats and then rip your face off. Very well. And at least they are not immune to magic, but will absolutely ruin your face if you use it. Interesting. All right. So these guys did a number on this place. What is here? Elixir of Necrotic Resistance. Hmm. I'm saying things like, oh, it's because I use the, the E word. And uh, Amazon Girl in the background added a bunch of stuff to the shopping list and I don't know what it added. So, Necrotic Resistance, I don't think you can buy that from Amazon. But it's just like, I'm going to add that to your shopping list. Yeah, and I mean, no. We... There's Nine Gate. We could just read the book. His Holy Blood, Volume 3, Dormaster. Can I just read that book? No. Oh, I'll lockpick it. Right tool will do the trick. Oh, because we got Cat's Grace. Advantage on dex checks. Uh, wow. Okay, I wondered if that armor was actually going to be any use. Yeah. We've become the turbo thief. We know, but we don't need a starion. All right, cool. Uh, read. My sins. It only just occurred to me that I had locked in my record keeping of late. That I had lacked in my record keeping of late. But then again, I know we have been busy. In our fray with the Sharon thieves, we have retrieved the blood. But one of the heretics sinned most heinously. They struck the amber encasing, his blood, with a maul of pure void, damaging the most holy relic. And as if knowing of this blasphemy, the exposed blood shone with an unbreakable radiance, reducing the Sharon Horde to dust for us to sift from this now holy ground. The relic became far too unstable to carry back to Hap. Thus, we fashioned a simple chapel around ourselves here and have encased the blood within steel to be wielded as a most righteous crudgel against those who sit in shadow to keep it from the lustful sacrilege of thievery our simple chapel will become a great monastery and the blood shall be secreted away within the great many more wiles than it was before i find it hard to fathom that we left such an artifact in such an obvious open space to begin with alas his light singes away the mistakes of the past, leading to a more fortuitous dawn indeed. Alright. Neat. Uh, the powers of the Dawn Master. Okay, cool. We still have four of these that are little turbo maggots to put in our brain. But I don't really want to put turbo maggots in our brain. Mostly because little turbo maggots, I think, change your appearance as well. The more maggots you put in your brain, the more, like, creepy you become. And, um... Yeah, no, I, I think we're kind of okay not doing that. However, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. Yeah, we've, we've come to find a Get the Yankee Crash. And instead of going down, we've gone up. She chose up instead of down. That was a strange one. So, uh, if you like this, definitely leave a little like. Leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you want notifications, dingle the bingle. If you don't want notifications, don't click the bell and I'll tell you what. I'll catch you next time.